Hey court chasers, how are you? I hope you're fine and healthy. With that healthy vibe, we will start our video today. I am Adil Lakshman Etiketti. Welcome to our channel, Court Chasers. In this video, we will see how can we code a for loop in Python. Okay, this video is like a bit of extension of my earlier video. In my earlier video, we have discussed the loop concept in python okay how the loop concept works what is a loop what is an iteration so for loop is just an extension of my earlier video okay now we will see how we can code how we can apply a for loop on a string in python okay for this i am taking a sample string let's say str1 i am assigning code chaser string to that variable str1 now str1 is a variable holding a string code chasers okay so now my requirement is i have to print each and every character in the string str1 okay c and then o and then d and then e like that i need to print so to achieve this scenario we have two approaches here first approach is indexing approach okay and next approach is we can apply a for loop on str1 string okay we actually we have seen indexing approach is not a suggestible approach here as it involves many lines of code this scenario also i have already discussed in my earlier video okay now the best approach that we can follow here is for loop approach i mean to say loop approach okay we can apply a loop on string one that is str1 and then we can print each and every character in the string str1 okay so how can we apply for loop okay we will see now to apply a for loop we have to use a keyword for for i in str1 i am printing i so you might be having a doubt what is this i i is just a variable that we have declared it here so why we need to declare a variable here so to answer that we are applying a for loop on string one that is str1 to apply for loop whenever like to apply a for loop we need a variable why we need a variable like what is the basic concept of a loop whenever we apply a loop it will start the loop will start the journey from the very first character of the string and it will go on till the end of the string okay so whenever it starts a whenever the loop starts journey we need to have one variable to store each and every character like which is present in the string one for example like i'll say like with this example okay whenever the loop starts its journey from the very first character c for the very first iteration iteration is a new word here what is meant by iteration i have explained it clearly in my earlier video okay iteration in a simple word in the sense it's a process that is being repeated many times here whenever the loop starts for the very first time c will be captured and then it will be assigned to a variable i and then the next line will be printing the variable i for the very first time the first character in the string that is c will be assigned to i and will be printed for the second time second iteration o will be assigned to i and will be printed the third time d will be assigned to i and will be printed okay the fourth iteration e will be assigned to i and e will be printed for the fifth time c will be assigned to i and it will be printed like that for every iteration assignment of characters in the string to the variable i will be happening as well as printing of that particular variable that is i will be happening okay and this process 
also i have explained it in my earlier video okay now we will concentrate upon the syntax of for loop as i have said to start for loop we need to use a keyword for for i we need to declare a variable i in string one this is the concept that is been undergone behind the for loop okay this is the basic syntax of for loop we can apply it on a string or a list or a tuple likewise what is a list tuple we will be seeing clearly in our next videos okay this is the basic syntax of the for loop now we will execute the code and we'll see what is the output see the output is as expected whenever like we are starting a for loop the i variable i is starting its journey from the very first character in the string str1 on which we are applying for loop the very first iteration she was assigned to i and it was printed second iteration o was assigned to i and then was printed likewise d e c h a s e r s till the string ends the printing of the variable has been happening with this help of for loop okay so with the help of for loop we have printed each and every character in a string okay i hope you understood the basic concept behind the for loop and how we have to write a for loop in python thank you so much we will see you another loop that is while loop how can we apply while loop in our next video okay till that take care thank you so much one quick and important information there are three courses running parallelly in our channel course 1 python full course course 2 pyspark with hadoop full course these two courses are designed for beginners and they are designed in such a way that a person who doesn't have any knowledge in any coding language can also easily understand the content in this course so please do follow if you are interested and the third course is python interview preparation this course is designed for those people who are preparing for python based interviews in this course most frequently asked python interview questions were taken and they have been answered with live coding sessions for each and every questions if needed so if you like my work please do subscribe to our channel and like the video and click on the bell icon to get notified about the updates of our channel thank you so much